Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here from Physique Development going to uh, walk you through the execution cues for the lying hamstring curl. This is a great movement in terms of getting the hamstrings in the most shortened position as well as just taking the hamstrings through the full range of motion. So I'm gonna have Sue go ahead and, and lay down here. Before we start the movement, I'm going to have kind of a checklist in terms of her setup to make this the most advantageous position for her to see um, the best hamstring activation that we can. So the first thing we're going to do is ensure that the pad is right above her ankle. So we're gonna move this just one up. From there, I'm going to ensure that her knee is in line with the pivot joint. Once those two things are set in stone, we're there going to look to make the pelvis the most stable, stable position that we can. And to do that, we want to find tension in the glutes. We want to drive the pelvis into the pad. From there, we want to ensure that the lats are engaged, the abdomen is flexed, and she is really pulling herself into the seat, or I'm sorry, into the arm pad with the handles. Now, with this stable environment, she is going to be in the best position possible to get the most activation out of her hamstrings. With this position from there, we will ask Sue to slowly drive up, find her end range, and then control the load coming down. One big thing to look at with the lying hamstring curl is to not jump out of the bottom. Sue, go ahead and give me one. There we go, perfect. So, <laughs> with this, the musculature that is most dominant when you are in the bottom position of the lying hamstring curl is actually the calf. So with the lying hamstring curl, we are wanting to kind of accelerate out of the bottom to allow for the hamstrings to become biased so that we're getting the greatest degree of load on the hamstrings themselves. One last thing to touch on as you are executing this movement is going to be, this is not a movement where it is just point A to point B being from the bottom and touching your glutes. One thing you want to focus on is finding the greatest degree of tension for you, holding that position, and then allowing the eccentric portion to uh, be slow and controlled. And those are just a few of the cues that we give our one-on-one -on -one clients within physique development, uh, and we hope we find that helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to work with a physique development coach one-on-one, -on -one, apply at physiquedevelopment.com.